guys. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. We're gonna have some more fun with Pusheen. Yes, do you love cooking? More than Pusheen or just as much as Pusheen? That's the question of the hour, right? <laughs> we all love Pusheen. Let's grab some colors and paper and let's get started. Look, Pusheen got in trouble trying to wrap Christmas presents and got all rolled up in the ribbon. Can you believe that? Silly, silly kitty cat. I mean, seriously, who does that? Let's see here. We're drawing this Pusheen today, okay? It's a little different than our normal Pusheen where we draw her straight up and down like eating pie. Anybody have a favorite pie? Does anybody like pie? Okay, now stop talking about food, I'm hungry. No more talking about food, I'm hungry. No, I'm just kidding, you can talk about food all you want. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, you can have your paper any direction, horizontal, vertical, landscape, whatever you want, okay? Any way you want it, just um, let's have some fun. Are you ready? So I'm gonna start with this area right here of Pusheen, okay, the head, but we're gonna start on the left side and bring her over. So make sure you have enough room on your page. Okay, is that cool? So let's start on one side and draw the ear. It's like a triangle, but a little further away and one side is longer. Okay, a little bit longer. Then we're gonna draw the forehead with a little curve. Yes. And one more ear, okay? This cat only has two ears. I've never met a cat with more than two ears. I know. Foster animals, they've had only one ear, but never more than two. Dragons have more than two, right? Some dragons. No, they just have two ears, okay. Well, just two ears. Okay, let's see here. There you go. Now let's come down just a little bit more on this side. This side, we're just gonna curve out just a little more. See, I'm going away from the center. Okay, just a little bit, gotcha. Let's draw this bag. Are you ready? Do you see this bag is slanted down? Okay, it's not straight across. We, one side's higher, one side's lower, all right? So right where you have this edge, Let's just pull that bag down. And we're gonna make it an oval, a really sloppy oval. Okay, guys, make it as sloppy as you can because this bag is all like wadded up and, and he's trying to take all the cookies or is he trying to give all the cookies away? So this bag, we're gonna start on one side, the high side, and we're gonna pull down the side we're gonna put a crease here because we're folding this bag, we're wadding it up, we're stuffing it full of cookies. Are you gonna put cookies in your bag or something else? <gasps> I'm, I'm totally doing cookies, okay? Who, who could not love cookies? Now pull this bag out to the side. Hold on, I'm too zoomed in. There we go. Pull it out to the side. I'm making mine huge. I should not make it that big. Don't make it that big. Pull it out to the side. <laughs> <laughs> now you got me hungry. I'm thinking, woo, we need it really big. <laughs> Super big. And then this side, we're going to pull down, add a little crease, and then we're going to just tuck it together right there. You got it. You got it. Good. Okay, what do we put inside the bag? Cookies. So I'm going to put just some big curves, you know, some big cookies, little cookies sugar cookies i just think chocolate chip cookies fresh out of the oven are the best okay so i start down here and i'm working myself up gotcha we're just gonna fill our bag with cookies we're just filling our bag don't put don't put them all the way to the rim well maybe yours is overflowing i'm just gonna put enough to where he can she can close the bag there we go. Is that good? I love it. Gotcha. Keep going. You keep going. Don't stop working. Keep, keep working. 
We're all just filling our bags with cookies. Yum cookies. Yummy, yummy, yummy cookies. I love. Okay. Do we love drawing cookies? I think we do. I think we get in trouble when we draw food though. Because we when we draw pushing with food, we leave class starving, don't we? We leave class really hungry. This is one we opened. Remember when we opened a toy and we drew the cookie? Yes, Caitlin remembers. Okay, I did not eat that because I was so hungry. That It came like that. So just to let you know, that was not me. And next year, guess what? Celebration. We're going to be doing Pusheen's Friends. Yes, even though we've done the sloth and storm, we're going to be adding some more friends. Okay, everybody got your cookies? Yes, good job, look at you. The, man, that's the most cookies I've ever seen, Faith. That's the most cookies ever. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, uh, okay, I think Coop's, Coop's got, the, got the prize for the mostest cookies. Is that a word, mostest? The mostest cookies ever. No, well, pretend it's a good word. <laughs> good job, Brooklyn. <laughs> Now let's finish pushing around this edge, okay? She's tucked behind the bag. So let's, I went down, down too far. Let's go down here and wrap her around and bring her over to the bag, okay? Try to shape that, get a good shape out of it. I gotta round her out better. There we go. That's better. That's a good, good kitty cat shape. Okay, do you see that shape? This is what we're trying to create is this shape right here. Round that out. That's what we want. And we want to put one foot right here. So that's the letter U. Get your letter U in there and erase that line inside of that foot. Okay, so we can see the foot is in front of Pusheen. What else do we need? Jonathan, what else do we need? The tail, do we need a tail? Yes. Does a dinosaur have a tail? Yes. And two eyes. Oh yeah, we have to put her face on and arms. Teeth? Did we ever put Pusheen's teeth on? Okay, I'm gonna pull out the tail and wrap it around and bring it back to Pusheen, okay? Go ahead and bring that back and put stripes on Pusheen's tail. Start at the tip and curve those lines. Curve, curve, curve. Do you see how I spaced those out and curved them? There we go, we can zoom in, that's better. That way there's no squinting in art class. No squinting in art class. There we go, what else? She's gotta be holding the bag. Do you see her holding the bag? So we wanna come up to this top and do the letter C right there. I'm going to clean out this area so we only see her paw there. Bring that letter C, that way she's holding the bag. And then drop down to this area and put a big letter C right there. Looks like a U to me, but depends on your angle. Ta-da! Good, good, good. Here we go. Sweet! Pushing is adorable. Now she's got stripes on the side. Okay, so let's put nice curves right here. Two, one and two. She's got those two stripes on her back. So we can only see this angle. Actually, it's this angle. So we can only see a little bit of the stripe, right? And then we need her eyes and her mouth and whiskers. So underneath this area where the ear is, we're gonna drop down, give a circle, Put a reflective spot in there. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in on this, hold on. I don't want you squinting. No squinting, no squinting. If my, if my camera focuses, there we go. There we go. Put the second eye right under the ear, put a reflective spot in there. And her smile right in the middle, put the letter J and then a backward letter J. Now, sometimes when she's eating or hungry, her mouth is open. So it's up to you if you wanna just have her mouth 
closed or is she eating? I didn't want her drooling on my bag of cookies, so I left this one closed. Because, <laughs> man, if I'm hungry, I'm going to be drooling for those cookies, right? Mm -mm -mm. They make me hungry. This one's still trying to get out of the ribbon. I'm so stuck. I'm going to be here till Christmas. I'm going to be here till Christmas. Now, whiskers. One, two, three, four. Two on each side, and you got it. Now, if you want to pull out your colors, go ahead. I'm going to shade this one like you would without your colors, all right? So all you need are the Pusheen, uh, warm gray, the red, and the brown. That's all I used on this to get Pusheen um, super happy. And you've got to remember if you're doing chocolate chip cookies to put the chocolate chips on the cookies. Okay, I'm just gonna put nice little circles on there. Nice, cute little circles, giving Pusheen's cookies lots of chocolate. Who likes lots of chocolate? Ooh, I love lots of chocolate. <gasps> ah, Kaylin, I saw that smile. I think you like chocolate a little. Coop, do you like a little chocolate? I think Caitlin's a chocolate-aholic. <laughs> Don't give it to your dog. Oh man, don't give it to the dog or the baby cow. Caitlin's got a baby cow. Make sure when you color in Pusheen's eyes that you leave that reflective spot in there, all right? You, um, I know she doesn't have them on all the toys, but if you hold her up to light, you can still see a little bit of the light reflection on the eye, all right? Here we go. Um, I'm gonna shade in these spots gonna make sure they're darker than the rest of the Pusheen and her stripes on her head. Oh, you know what we need? We need a Santa's hat on Pusheen. What? You guys are gonna let me forget Santa's hat? Really? Let's do this. Are you ready? I'm adding Santa's hat. So on the top of her head, just add a nice curve. Add a nice curve. Coop's gonna go put his Santa hat on. Oh, you have a Santa hat, that's super cool. That's super cool. And then really to finish off Santa's hat is curve over that ear. And then on this side, curve up and over. Don't let him touch, no touching. And then all you wanna do is put a ball on the top, right? There's a ball on the top, yes. Awesome, look at that. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Pusheen is the fun. Pusheen is the fun. Now my, my cookie bag, I'm gonna shade opposite my light source. So I could go in and shade every single cookie or I can just grab my stomp and just soften up the edges on each cookie opposite my light source. I think that's where I'm going to go with that. So I'm gonna use my stomp, shade my, my pushing just a little bit and give her some shading. I'm gonna make sure this bag has more crease to it and add an anchor shadow to Pusheen and the bag, okay? You wanna anchor them to the ground. Don't let them float in the air. Let's see here, who's adding color? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. I'm excited. I can't wait to see the color. I love color, color. Yes, you did red and green for the tail. That's so cool. Watch out. And then right there, I have a little cooking. <gasps> He's already, she's already eating them. Mm -hmm. That's Cooper's collection of Pusheen he did like two years ago. Do you remember that, Cooper? I love it. Cool. Okay, guys, thanks for drawing with me. You guys are awesome. I will see you in the next class, all right? Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you later. Bye.